Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads, uh, uh, determine the maximum speed that the jeep can travel over the crest of uh, the hill and not lose contact with the road. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, a 14th edition by RC Hibela. So let's draw the free body diagram. So we are going to have, we do have the weight acting through the center of gravity. We also have the normal force, like so. And we do have, let me say, this one here is our end coordinate. Okay, so this is our end coordinate. This is our normal force. And this is our weight. And let's say our acceleration. We are going to take this direction like so. And this we are going to call it MAN like so. Okay. So let's apply the equations of motion. The equation of motion. So the summation of forces in the N axis going down being our reference. This is just equal to MAN like so. Therefore, we have w minus n equal to m a n where a n for normal centripetal acceleration is just equal to v squared divided by rho and rho is given is equal to 250 feet so let me write this in terms of n then i'll give three conditions and later on we begin to solve this particular problem so if we made n subject to the formula which is the normal force this is just equal to w uh, minus m v squared divided by rho so we have three conditions so we have n less than zero we have n equal to zero and we have n greater than zero. n less than zero, this simply means uh, the jeep, okay, the jeep um, the jeep is not in contact with the road. So this means the jeep has lost contact with the rod uh, n equal to zero it means the jeep is at the verge this is the limit at the verge of losing contact with the rod okay and then we have n greater than zero the jeep is in contact with the rod okay so these three conditions then how do we find this maximum speed that the jeep can travel over the crest of the hill and not lose contact with the road? Of course, we are supposed to use this particular condition because this condition, it means the car, okay, has a very high speed and it flies over, okay, this particular cliff, okay, high speed. Maybe that is exaggerated, maybe it goes like so, okay. Okay, so for for us to find this maximum speed, we need to use this one here, this one here, where the jeep is at the verge of losing contact. It is still in contact, but that is the limit. Okay, right. So in this particular equation, we are just going to make n equal to zero. And once we do so, then we can calculate the maximum uh, velocity, uh, maximum speed. So let's write down the equation again. So we have minus n minus 
uh, w minus n equal to um what is this uh, m v squared divided by rho making n equal to zero okay because this is the point where we can find this maximum speed and we are going to have w which is where w is equal to mg then this just becomes mg is equal to mv squared divided by rho and we can cancel out m and m like so and our v squared therefore is just equal to uh, g rho okay or rho g okay and then squaring both sides then our v is just equal to square root of rho g which is and our g let me make mention our g here uh, we are dealing with feet our g is just equal to 32.2 okay therefore our v is just going to be equal to square root of rho which is a 250 times uh, 32.2 okay therefore our speed our maximum speed is just going to be equal to a 250 by 32.2 square root of that we have 89.2 Seven two feet per second. Okay. Uh, I think this is about it. This is the maximum velocity. This is the maximum velocity that the jeep can travel over the crest of the hill and not lose contact with the road or be at the verge of losing contact with the road. So I hope this video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.